Hello, this is the audio version for the Birkin reports for Tesh Federal Bank. The analysts covering Tesh are JJ Feng, Shi Chen Hu, and Eric Milner. This audio will cover the following for Tesh. First, we'll discuss the company description, the investment sub summary, and the dividends and repurchases. Then we'll move on to the banking industry. We'll discuss the competitors, Tesh's strategy, how we came to value our projected stock price for Tesh, and then we will discuss our site visit. Tesh Holding is the parent company of the commercial bank Tesh Federal Bank. W. Mackerel O'Neill and four other businessmen from St. Mary Parish founded Tesh in Franklin, Louisiana in 1934. Now Tesh operates in South Louisiana through 19 offices located in various parts of Louisiana Parish. Tesh Holding was formed on April 19, 1995 when the board of directors made the decision to bring the company public. Since this time, Tesh has become a company with just over $843 million in assets as of June 2012 and is the fifth largest publicly traded company in the state of Louisiana. This growth has mostly come by picking up customers through their regular business activities, but some of it has come through acquisitions. The acquisitions include First Federal Savings in 1991, Community Community Homestead Association in 1992, and St. Landry Financial Corporation in 2004. Tesh's main focus is to serve the banking needs of the local community in South Louisiana. The assets of the company are dependent on various cyclical industries in the local economy. Two of the main industries in this region include the oil and gas industry and the seafood industry. Tesh offers deposits and loan services predominantly in South Louisiana and serves over 60,000 customers. Tesh's core deposits, primarily transaction accounts, include demand deposits, now accounts, money market deposit accounts, and savings accounts. The total deposits were $615 million as of June 30, 2012. Deposits consisting of checking accounts, money market accounts, and savings accounts amounted to $469 million, or 72 76.2% of total deposits as of June 30, 2012. Tesh attracts savings deposits from the general public and uses deposits to originate loans, including, including resi residential mortgages, commercial mortgage loans, and consumer loans. The total loans were $660 million as of June 30, 2012. Loans consisting of commercial loans, home equity loans, smart mortgage loans, and consumer loans amounted to 477 million as of June 30, 2012. Our 12-month target price for Tesh Holding Company is $44. Um, this $44 is a 12% over its current price of 39.26, giving it a market perform rating. Currently, Tesh has 2.06 million shares outstanding, and at its current share price of 39.26, this gives them a, a market capitaliz capitalization of 80.66 million. Tesh has a great record of issuing dividends. They have steadily increased its dividends over the past 10 years. With the stock price of $39, this gives them roughly a dividend yield of 3.6%. Tesh has a 43.6% payout ratio, which means that they return 43.6% of its profit its, to its investors in the form of dividends. During the financial crisis, many companies had to keep dividends constant and others had to cut them, whereas Tesh increased its dividends for the ninth consecutive quarter. Tesh also has an outstanding record of share repurchases. When Tesh went public in 1995, they issued 4.7 million shares of common stock. The company now has 2.06 million shares outstanding, which means it has bought back 56% of its outstanding shares. On, April, on August 24, 2012, the Board of Directors confirmed a stock repurchase plan stating that Tesh has the power to buy back an additional 3% of shares outstanding, or around 62,000 shares by the end of the second quarter of 2014. 
Now for the banking industry. Tesh operates in a community banking subsection of the commercial banking industry. Unlike national banks that have an abundant amount of assets and capital, community banks, as the name suggests, focus more on the financial needs at a local level. Community banks compete in a segment where customer service or knowledge of the local community is important. Being small allows community banks like Tesh to pay attention to the details. In addition, community banks have advantages in customer loyalty, have local connections, and have expertise in local communities compared to national banks. Banking reg is regulated at both the federal and state levels. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC, is an independent agency created by Congress in 1933 to maintain stability and public confidence in the nation's financial system. By June 30, 2012, there are 6,222 FDIC-insured commercial banks under FDIC's regulation, regulations in the United States. The Federal Reserve Board oversees all of its member banks. State charter banks are subject to regulation of state regulatory agencies in addition to the federal regulatory agencies. Because the FDIC and the Federal Reserve Board have the power to set rules that banks must follow, any change in these rules can greatly affect the banking industry as a whole. Tesh is also subject to many risks. The two main risks are op operational risk and financial risk. Of the, opera the operational risks include geographic and environmental risk, cycl cyclicality risk, customer credit risk, and regulatory risk. And the financial risks include interest rate risk and capital ratio risk. <clears throat> TESH competes with many different types of financial institutions from all over the country. Based on their main businesses, operating regions, and sizes, we have included Iberia Bank, Mid-South Bank Corps, Louisiana Bank Corps, First Advantage Bank Corps, and Home Bank Corps as their peer group. All of TESH's peers operate in the same sectors of the banking business. They all offer various loans to local businesses and individuals and generate income primarily from interest and fees on loans. All of the, these peers operate in the southeastern region of the United States, mainly in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. Therefore, each bank is subject to similar economic market factors. Tesh emphasizes its smart growth strategy of growing low cost deposits and high quality loans with short term durations and high profit margins. As of the third quarter of 2012, low cost checking, savings, and money market deposits made up 76% of TESH's total deposit base. TESH reduced its high cost time deposits, including certificate of deposits, from 44% of total deposits in 2008 to 24% in the third quarter of 2012. TESH also changed its loan mix by increasing its commercial loans and decreasing its conforming mortgage loans. Compared to conforming loans, commercial loans have shorter maturities and higher yields. TESH provides multiple types of commercial loans, including non-residential and residential real estate loans, commercial and industrial loans, commercial land loans, and CD loans. However, the commercial and industrial and commercial land loans, which have a higher risk, only make up 6% of total loans. TESH has been diversifying its, port its loan portfolio to help manage these risks. For evaluation, we forecasted a 12-month target price of $44 using two methods. These methods are the discounted cash flow method and the price to book value method. The discounted cash flow model estimates the present value of the company's future cash flow or, or, or owner earnings. To use this model, we projected Tesh's net cash flow of each year up to year 2022 and calculated Tesh weighted average cost of capital of 12.5%. We used the weighted average cost of capital as the discount rate and reached present value of cash flows of 87.53 million or 43.23 per share. The price to book value method is one of the most reliable value weight valuation methods for financial institutions. 
This method evaluates a company's book value of equity, which equals total assets minus total liabilities. To determine the price to book value ratio, we consider seven comparable companies of Tesh, including Tesh's major competitors, Iberia, Mid-South, Louisiana, Bancor, and Home Bancor. The median price to book value ratio of comparable companies was 115.8%, which gave us a 12-month target price of 45.50. On October 19, 2012, our team of analysts visited Tesh's main office in New Iberia, Louisiana. Soon after our arrival, we were greeted at the door and taken upstairs into a large conference room. Here we were introduced to Tesh's, Tesh's executive team and other key employees. The executive members who joined us were Patrick Little, W. Ross Little Jr., J. L. Chauvin, Jason Freyu, and Daryl Broussard. They gave they went through their uh, investor presentation, which stressing the importance of asset quality. They talked about how the main reason they were able to weather the financial crisis was that they possessed a loan portfolio of low numbers of charges offs. Management also stressed that they will continue to focus on maintaining quality assets. The strategy the management discussed for maintaining the quality assets is to know their community. In the past, Tesh used to, used to diversify its loan portfolios by buying loans from other parts of the country, but realized its own loans performed better on average, and they have recently moved away from this strategy. So in conclusion, Tesh is a local community bank that focuses on asset quality and are currently um, str str strategically shifting their deposit and loan portfolios. Um, this concludes our presentation. Thank you.